Hi everyone, it's me Michelle. Um, so I guess I'm on day four of stop. I had my surgery on Thursday and um, it's been a roller coaster to say the least. I've been home since uh, Friday night. I came home at 8 p.m. It's now Sunday. Saturday I was taking uh, per liquid Percocet for the pain and I I should have known better. I've never ever tolerated liquid any liquid uh, pain medicine or just pain medicine in, in general very well. I've always Lord Tab makes me sick, Vicodin makes me sick, and you know, obviously Percocet makes me sick too. Um, went to the mall, I had my first sliming episode because I wanted to walk and get this gas out, you know, all this rumbling and tumbling in my tummy. And I decided to walk, walk, walk. So I said, let's go to the mall and walk. And I took with me a, um, a water bottle that had a large round opening, you know, kind of like the Biggest Loser water bottles. And we're in the AT&T store because my husband's upgrading his phone. And um, I just suddenly, out of nowhere, started feeling this, like, nauseous feeling and it my mouth just kept filling with water and so I just sat down on the bench and I unscrewed the lid and I just started spitting into the cup um, as nonchalantly as I could and bless my little kids hearts they're they're like mom I'm thirsty can I have something to drink can I have something to drink and I'm like no you can't have anything to drink this is gross this is nasty but it's your water it was awful I just and I kept doing that over I probably did that for about five minutes, and then I told my husband I'll take the boys out to the play area, and I went outside to the play area, and I sat next to these two girls, and um, I asked if I could sit down with them. I said, I just had surgery. I said, I'm a little tender, and I think I need to sit down, and and uh, they said, with surgery, I said, lap band. They're like, oh, we're both five years post-op gastric, so find out that one of them had surgery with my doctor, and um talking with them just gave me a lot of hope and a lot of um, a lot of uh, reassurance that it does get better you know this pain doesn't last forever um, <clears throat> so I came home and um, had a little bit of broth I think a little chicken broth and then the nausea set in again I start sliming again so I start spitting in the cup again and then the next thing I knew, I was throwing up. Oh my gosh. I felt like I was dying. My stomach hurt so bad. So bad. Uh, so I switched to taking the, from Percocet to taking the liquid Tylenol. And I can only tolerate a half a dose at a time because a full dose is a, is a one ounce cup and it's huge and it's it's a lot um, so I could take half of it and I kind of sip it with water a little bit because it's so sweet um, my taste buds are really sensitive everything is overly sweet right now so basically all I've had is uh, water tea decaf you know just hot tea and a little bit of broth, which didn't do well, and sugar-free jello, which my favorite is green. I love it. Can't stand it right now. So I had a red one, and it was okay. The jello actually had even had a weird texture to me. It almost was gritty. I don't know. This whole thing. I I will tell you, I did throw up again last night. So. I talked to my poor mother about this, and she's like, I'm so sorry, your recovery is so bad. But I'll be honest with you guys, I did not think it was going to be this rough. I I feel awful. And um, it's only been within the last couple of hours that I've been able to pull myself out of bed, walk to the bathroom, walk back to the bedroom. And that's where I'm sitting now, I'm sitting in bed, and I'm just bored, out of my mind. I wish I had a TV in my room, I don't. Um... Thank God for my mother-in-law. She's here taking care of my kids and my family, so I'm not having to cook dinner or anything. I don't think I could stand to be in the kitchen. It just, the thought of looking at food right now just makes me nauseous. But it also, the head games that I'm going through at this moment is that 
I truly feel like I could sit down and eat. I feel like I could sit and eat a whole meal because I am mentally starving. I am so hungry in my head. And I think I finally know what this head hunger is. I, you know, because food is what always kind of comforted me when I was sick. Oh, you have chicken soup, you know, you have this, you have that, you have some crackers, and you feel good. I would kill for a cracker right now. <laughs> Just, I am so sick of water and tea and nasty jello. And I'm only four days into this. I have three more days of this before I get on full liquids. So, I'm sorry if I'm crying and whining about this, guys. I, it's not easy, but it's going to be worth it. Um, I get a little, you know, I get a little joy out of the fact that I gotta be losing weight. I mean, hello. I'm not eating anything. I have to be losing weight. And, um, I'm, I'm doing all the things that I should be doing, so I know my body's working right. And the gas pain is not near as bad as it was yesterday, thank God, or even this morning. And, uh, and it's been over, over 12 hours since I've thrown up last, so, yay. Uh, but, uh, I didn't expect to experience the sliming so early. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's gross. Ugh. Um, so, here we are, learning how to use this new body, um, sitting here pre-planning what I'm going to have for my first full liquid food. I'm like thinking, I'm going to have a protein shake with peanut butter in it. I'm going to have, and saying that makes my stomach turn just now, but I need something, another flavor other than jello. I think some cream of chicken soup would be good. Ugh. Okay. I'll stop talking about food. Bye.